Installing N8 and locally with Docker. If you are losing your workflows every time you restart, you're doing it wrong. In this video, I'll show you the right way to install N8N open source using Docker so you can stop the container, spin it back up again and keep all your workflows intact. Towards the end of the video, I'm also going to show you another nice way to install N8N on a cloud platform where you can focus on doing and building workflows rather than focusing on installations and it's going to be way more cost effective than the N8N pricing plans itself. Let's get started. Before we move on, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Kunal Naik, founder of Data Science Mastermind, senior data scientist and AI automation expert. I help professionals in sales, marketing and HR leverage AI automation and data-driven strategies to work smarter, not harder. If you want to automate your workflows, scale your business and stay ahead in the AI revolution, make sure you subscribe and turn on that notifications. I drop practical, no fluff insights every week. You don't want to miss this AI agent innovation in your business. You will need the Docker desktop. First of all, you, you can download this. It's free of cost and install it. And I already have Docker desktop available here. The steps that are going to be followed here is going to be, we are going to first download the images uh, and then create a container so that we can spin up a N8N uh, instance here. So let's begin the first step. The first step is going to take some time. So I'm just going to go and search for N8N here. Now, if you're first time doing the search, right, it'll be looking something like this. It says N8N IO N8N. Just you're going to say run here. Okay. And what it's going to do, it's going to get in this, uh, download this and it's 1.22 GB. So it's going to take some time. So give it some time and it will be available and it will show up size and it will show up some actions here. But essentially what we are trying to do here is this, right? We, we want to install the N8N for those who are new and don't know what N8N is. It's Secure AI Native Workflow Automation, world's most popular automation platform for technical teams, right? So it does a lot of things, uh, but I want to uh, just, uh, you know, show the, the subscription cost if the pro is at 50 euros per month, which is can get pricey and you can just basically self host it and be able to do it yourself also right so that's what we're trying to do uh, hopefully now installation is ready so once the installation is ready then what we can do is create a container uh, and spin up the instance now watch the steps carefully because if you miss the steps right uh, it will it will not run so you open up the advanced settings here and we're just going to call this as n8 n dash test and here if you leave it to the default port uh, it's not going to work for some reason so what we'll do is we'll just change this to 5680 and then this is a critical path right so we need to ensure that we point our volume to a folder called as n8 and data i'm just going to delete this folder i'm going to re recreate it so i'm just going to create a folder called as n8 n and then say flow underscore data uh, just n8 and data is is sufficient so any time data so now to uh, ensure that i point this n8 n installation to this n8 and it's in my d drive dsm docker n8 and data i point it to the right folder and that's the, the host path and then i need to tell the path of the container and that's going to be basically home slash node slash don dot n8 n so having these three information ensures that whenever you shut down your N8N installation, in, in installation and try to spin it back again, this will retain the data. Let me show you how it will happen. So I'm just going to do it run here. What's going to happen in the background is that in this folder, uh, it, while the installation is going on, you're going to see that the database is getting created here and any of the other information that the N8N application requires or any facilities to be able to store the information. So it takes care of that. So next time, you know, this, when you spin it back again, uh, the information is available here and you can spin, spin the information back again. So I'm just going to copy this uh, link here and then go, go to my browser or just click on it. I have a default browser. So I'm just going to come here and place this link here. Okay, just give it a moment. It should be able to spin it back here. 
okay if it is not uh, happening with this all you need to do is go to the containers here and click on this 5680 uh, actually uh, it's actually 5678 by default so you just need to change this to 80 and you should be able to uh, come to this location the next step is then to fill in your details and then activate an instance so i'm just going to create an instance here and just give some password which you can remember okay and then i'm just going to say next and there we go we are able to install this particular application so i'm just going to say other and marketing let's say marketing okay select uh, let's say data science myself less than 20 people youtube and just say get started now uh, what it's going to ask is that it's going to give you uh, you know you can ask get a key right so i'm just going to say send me a license key and um, we need this key to ensure that we continue to use this self-hosted version here so i'm just going to go back to my email and i get this license key so i'm going to go back here and just say usage and plan right so we need to activate this so i can click on that and then just say enter activation key paste it and then say activate so it's activated and now we have n810 uh, our own installation available for us to use and be able to spin it back up with memory so let's just create one here i'm just going to say test ready go ai agent examples so some click it here and i'm just going to say save and go back home right and just to give you an uh, idea i'm just going to give this as maybe let's say kn and uh, you know we save this information now ideally if i shut this docker desktop uh, shut you know uh, what we say stop this container and close the desktop and spin it back up again it should be able to come to this location which is here and be able to show my information so let me let me close the loop in terms of doing the same here. So I'm just going to go back to my Docker desktop here and I'm just going to say stop here. Okay. And I'm just going to, for the sake of it, close Docker desktop. A Docker desktop is closed, right? And if I go back to my N810 uh, installation here and just say enter, it's not going to be working. It, there's an issue with it. So now if I go to my Docker desktop here and um, you, as you can see this is stopped so I can just say start here and it's going to be available here and spin it up again so the localhost 5680 the one that was not working if I just say enter here again it's going to be working and as you can see whatever we have stored it's uh, being able to re-access it and uh, show it here so that's how you install the docker desktop on your local PC and by using docker uh, however i use my own n8n subscription which is posted on a, a website called as cloud bean right so cloud bean here so if you are having the time uh, effort and uh, uh, if you want to save time effort and energy i recommend that you do it here rather than your local pc because uh, they've done uh, amazing work where you can just simply go in just say add a server select a server that you want i'm i'm at 4 gb right now this is working very well for me so the server gets spinned up and then i can just add an application and just with one click i can have n8n and also they have a deep seek uh what is a large language model which is there for you to just use it without getting uh burning your bank uh, in terms of api calls right so uh, install this and uh, you should be able to see the apps like this where you can then launch the application which will be the same experience that you have in the local PC, but it is hosted available for you readily be being accessed whenever you want it. So that's how CloudBin can do it. I use it. Uh, me and my team members have created several workflows. My community members have created several workflows, which is a really great deal to have. Now that you have set up N810 the right way, it's time to take it to the next level. Check out the video in the comment to learn how to create your first AI agent with N810 and start automating like a pro. Don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you found this helpful. See you in the next one.